Hi everyone, my name is Rayan Yang. I am from Taiwan. I recently took the CPEN exam and passed the test as a LPT master. I was a Red Hat certified engineer a long time ago and worked as network and system administrators for many years. When I started my graduate degree in the United States, being the school team captain and placing second in Michigan Collegiate Cyber Defense Network competition, shift my focus on security defense and penetration test. Unlike some people follow the EC console track, I jump into the CPEN program directly. And this is the only course I took from EC console. Since there is no limitation or pre-requirement for the course, and in IT professionals with confident and skill sets might just participate in the CPEN program. However, passing the CPEN exam is not easy, but those who pass the exam would achieve same results over in other EC control courses, such as identify vulnerable network and targets, applying proper hacking tools, or generating a decent penetration test report. Speaking of a CPEN exam, it is often asked how to prepare and what is the best strategy to adapt. Passing the CPEN exam is not easy and advancing the LPT master is even harder. CPEN candidates must know their strengths and weaknesses. It is because the CPEN scopes are so broad, no one could understand everything at the very beginning. To be honest, attending the CPEN program is not enough. Take myself for example. I think the binary scope is the most complicated part in the program. Although assuming fully comprehend ideas in the course, I ended up spending a lot of hours in practice, researching and fine tuning exploitations with all kinds of scenarios on my own machines, as well as the module labs and the practice range. However, it was worst time ever spent in building those templates, scripts, and exploitations. Compared to other scopes, the binary scope seems static, and the buffer overflow can be recognized in the exam. With pre-built templates, and tuning, I spent less time and overcame the applications to gain time for other scopes in the exam. By the way, do spend time in the module labs to be familiar with tools, attacks, and methods, but be aware of this practice range. I did encounter a keyboard mapping issues in the lab, which caused scramble characters in typing. But in the practice range, it is another story. Although the practice range is pretty much like the exam setting, in the shared environment, other VPN connectors can often break exploitations, scripts, or a machine connections with unexpected issues such as a machine reset, a reconfigurations, or even data alterations by other users. I experienced many troubles and issues in the practice range, but it was my favorite part in the CPM program. I did like the final Henan exam after all, but it is the practice range made the program so exciting, or I should say real. Because in the exam, no users can face interference of 
other attackers, except internet connection or internet slowness. But in the practice range, participants have to compete with others who are eager to gain with all means and all methods. After my experience and story in the CM program, here I would like to offer some advice for people who are preparing and going to take the CM exam. First of all, optimize practice resources. Use the lab practice range and two section exam option strategy. Make good use of lab to be familiar with test topic and tools before the practice range. In addition, since the practice range expire in 30 days, and the access overlaps exam schedule. Most of the time, exam takers has less than 30 days access, unless special arrangements were made. Moreover, by using two-section exam option, test takers can generate time to construct reports, clear minds for the second session, or even search solutions for questions. Secondly, follow a good penetration methodology. Multitasking and time management are must needed when candidates tackle questions across scopes or wrongs in the exam. However, these skills only help to manage time efficiently. They do not help to solve problems directly. Only with a methodology developed in training and practice can help to reduce interferences on the time and stress. Because when someone gets stuck on a problem, time can fly by so fast. Last but not least, verify tools again. Make sure tools and applications function properly before the exam. I once updated a kernel of a VGA card and lose several tools due to the dependency after a reboot. Fortunately, I got everything fixed right before the exam. So do verify your tools. At the end, I hope all CPEN candidates can benefit from my advice and wish exam takers all the best in the test.